Thanks for tuning in on the first day of Spring Glads. I'm Kern McAfee. And I'm Moose Santos. And this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check these out. For those of you wanting to apply to the International Salon and Spa at their open house, they rescheduled it for tonight from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the ISSA building at 5707 North Academy. Remember, your parents have to attend with you for you to sign up. Tomorrow, the reps from CU Boulder scheduled their visit with us during advisory. And then at lunch, you can chat with the reps from the Paul Mitchell School in the lower comments. On Friday, March 22nd, the reps from Norwich University Private Military College in Vermont will be visiting the NJROTC classes during periods one, two, three, and five. If you'd like to attend one of these presentations, check in with the Counseling Center for a pass. April visits kick off with the reps from Colorado Mesa on April 3rd. On April 10th, the reps from the Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the lower comments. And then on April 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University are scheduled to visit. If you missed any of the dates for these visits or want more information, stop by the Counseling Center or check their website. Juniors, the ZAPS SAT Test Prep Seminar is this Saturday, March 23rd, so please be sure to register with the Counseling Center by Friday morning. The cost for the seminar is $89.99, and seniors, you can also sign up with Mr. Thiel in the Counseling Center. Attention all Renaissance card holders, please come to the cafeteria today during advisory to retake the group photo. Seniors, listen up. If you ordered items from Herf Jones. They will be here today during lunch in the lower comments. Remember, you need an ID to pick up your items. Also, if you'd like to have your photos in the senior slideshow, stop by the counting center to see Miss Abeta for the Snapchat and email addresses. Remember, your photos must be school appropriate, and your deadline, no joke, is April 1st. And lastly, seniors, if you'd like to buy a Charlie sticker, check in with Mr. Baldwin in the counting center. Quantities are limited, so get yours ASAP. When we return from the break, we'll have the rescheduled information for the pie throwing raffle. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for a gladiator sports update with Jeremiah Jones. Happy first day of spring glads, I'm Jeremiah Jones, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Juniors and seniors, listen up. If it's spring, it must be powder puff time. Sign-ups are happening this week on Miss Belton's door in room 103. Ladies, you will be playing football, and gentlemen, you are needed to be the cheerleading squads. The game is scheduled for April 17th at 5 p.m. following the tailgate at 4 p.m. Please see Miss Melton for the details. Men's basketball team, this is your final notice. Coach Johnson is waiting for you to return your combo locks so you don't have to pay a conditions fee at the end of the year. Please take care of this by the end of the week. Our WHS forensics team is heading to their state tournament this Friday and Saturday. The team is traveling to Mountain Vista High School in Highlands Ranch. We wish them the best of luck. Speaking of forensics, they will be holding a pajama day fundraiser this coming Friday. Buy your wristbands before school or during lunch for just $1. You know you want to start your spring break in your PJs. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are interested in trying out for WHS Cheer, those tryouts are coming up on April 9th through the 12th from 5.30 to 7 p.m. in the small gym. Pick up your applications in the main office. If you have any questions, please check in with Mrs. Miles in the athletic director's office. Switching to tennis news, our Lady Glides tennis team played a rescheduled match on Monday afternoon against the CSCS Lions. Our ladies showed no love for the Lions and took the win with a 4-3 score. The ladies will be back on the home court after spring break on Tuesday against the St. Mary's Pirates at 345. In swim and dive news, the boys traveled to Cheyenne Mountain yesterday with a plan, but the Indians sank our swimmers. Catch the fellas on Thursday right here at home at 4 p.m. when they jump into the pool against the Pine Creek Eagles. We'll have results for you on Friday. Our baseball team continues to struggle on the diamond and lost last night to Pueblo Central. Hang in there, fellas. You'll get a dub soon. Catch the boys on the diamond at Fountain Fort Carson tomorrow at 4 p.m. for a short road trip. We'll have their scores for you on Friday. Following their amazing overtime win against Pueblo East, the ladies' soccer team took on the Palmer Terrors last night, and yes, the winning streak continues. Two claps and a whoosh. Whoosh. Nice going, ladies. The ladies are traveling to Coronado tomorrow for a game against the Cougars at 4 p.m. Go out and support your Lady Glads. We'll have scores for you on Friday. This Friday on Damon's Dose of Health, Mr. Damon will be discussing mental health. It will be a lengthy presentation, but one that needs to be heard. 
Glad's our very own Luis Ibarra will be traveling to Reno, Nevada over spring break to test his boxing skills in hopes of making it to the Olympics. We sat down with Luis to hear from him what this opportunity means. Stay tuned on Friday for that interview. For now, we wish Luis the best of luck. Our Gladiator teams are traveling to Gary Berry Stadium once again this Saturday for the Terror Invitational. The team has been making great strides in improving their times and moving up in the stands. Keep up the great work, Glads. And finally, in music news, there will be two pre-contest concerts tonight and tomorrow in the WHS Auditorium. The orchestra will perform tonight and the choir will perform tomorrow night. These free shows begin at 7 p.m., so come enjoy some great music. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to the news desk with Corinne and Moose. Thanks for the update, Jeremiah. Glads, if you had your heart set on throwing a pie in your favorite math teacher's face last week, you can still donate money. But today is the last day to do that. Donation cups are in the math department. If you want to throw a pie, buy those raffle tickets for 50 cents from any math teacher. Names for the winners will be drawn tomorrow morning. And the pies will fly at lunch. All money raised will go to the 180 Club. And now it's time to hear what we're having for lunch with Miss Betsy and her crew. Take it away, Seth. Boy, what's for lunch? I'm hungry. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Are you counting down to spring break? I surely am. Today we're having mandarin chicken. I know you love it. Come on down. And then um, tomorrow we'll have a meatball sub. Hey, have a great one. See you then. Bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. Please add money to your lunch account in person or online so you can stay off conditions. Current sophomores, juniors, and rising seniors. If you are interested in becoming a link crew leader for next year, please stop by room 123 or 201 to pick up an application. The deadline to return those applications is tomorrow by 3 p.m. Glads, we have two more test prep sessions before the PSAT and SAT exams in April. So check the flyers in your classroom with the dates and content for the test prep sessions happening this week. Sign up now in the library for tomorrow's session. Junior Seniors and seniors, save the date for April 20th. That's when prom is scheduled. It will be at the Doubletree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return those is April 12th. You can purchase a discounted ticket for $45 per person this week. After spring break, ticket prices go up to $50 until April 16th. Because we need a headcount for dinner, you will not be able to buy tickets at the doors, so get your tickets early. And remember, your ticket price does include dinner. Glads, mark April 25th on your calendars for some very important events. First, our aspiring engineers will be showcasing their senior projects in the WHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. Come check out project presentations and activities from all the engineering classes. April 25th is also our district-wide Day Without Hate. This year's theme is Do What's Right, Not What's Easy. Expect to see many events happening on campus the week of the 25th. We'll have more details as we get them. Hey Glads, the library is giving out tickets for any books checked out through the end of the week. They will be drawing tickets today, tomorrow, and Friday for prizes. So come check out a book to be entered to win. Also, if you need to return or renew your books, please do so before spring break to avoid being put on conditions. Glads, besides your minds, if you lost any tangible personal items in the building, please check out the lost and found area in the business office. All items not claimed will be donated over spring break. And finally, Glads, we have a new hydration system in our building called InStream, and it dispenses filter water and sparkling water. The hydration station is located just outside the small gym, but it is not free to use. If you would like to use this system, your water will cost anywhere from two cents to six cents per ounce, depending on what you select and how much you dispense. You can set up an account to load your money and download the app to your phone, so every time you use the system, it will deduct the proper amount of money. Remember, because of district contracts, we cannot purchase water from this system 30 minutes before lunch, during lunch, or 30 minutes after lunch. Thanks for listening today. I'm Corinne McAfee. We have a few more days of school before spring break. And I'm Luis Santos, and this was your KWHS News. Have a great rest of your week, and for those of you checking out early, have a great spring break.